sussing out your luck, going harder than pain, and that's how you assert dominance. It has Dark Prince and it has both Spear Goblins. You guys probably would hate me if I played that. But I kind of want to play that. So Spear Goblins at the river because I like keeping the Goblin Gang for defense. A little bit better against Hog Riders, Giants because if they zap it, the Stab Goblins stay alive. When I go for a Dark Prince in the back in the same lane as the Ice Golem in case he wants a Bridge Spam. Don't really want to mess around with that. And he's going to have a Lumberjack. So this is probably going to be a Hog Rider deck. Hog Rider, Ice Golem, Inferno Dragon. He's got Zap. So I'm going to go in for a Miner. Our Dark Prince should win that, and then I think that we get a lot of Miner chip damage because of that. A few extra Miner hits. So he's got Zap, so he's going to have Poison or Fireball with the Hog Rider deck. We're going to wait and see. We're going to go in for our Spear Goblins, and I assume it's probably going to be Poison. Actually, no. It's usually Fireball Zap. Usually Fireball Zap. Poison Log. So I would assume Fireball. So much damage with the Spear Goblins. Oh my gosh. And the Lumberjack just didn't give him any utility. Unfortunately, he will get some zap value on our tower. Should I sh so he should have dropped that up a little bit higher. It's not too much damage. It's like very insignificant, but it's still something. I'm going to go for a Dark Prince in the back and we're going to see what's up. What does Shadow want to do? What are you going to do, man? So you're going to drop your Inferno Dragon. Well played. You do have to respond to the Dark Prince, though. It's, not, it's, some, it's really not something you can ignore. I should have poisoned that, actually, just for ch some chip damage. It's going to give me poison value now. I can't pass that up. I'm going to go for Spear Goblins off to the side to kill the guards. He's probably going to zap them immediately. Yep, well played. But the Inferno Dragon's going to die. That one Steven, his life was not in vain. He distracted that Inferno Dragon for a fat minute, man. Are you trying out for Team USA? No, I'm not doing that. Oof, always, man. I'm going to go in for the Dark Prince in the back, and... Okay, so he's going to go cycle the Inferno Dragon yet again. He's probably trying to stack up. He's trying to get piped up. He still hasn't went in for Fireball, so... I He would have went in for Poisons if he had them. So he's definitely got Fireball. He just hasn't found a time to use it. We're going to go for Poison Ship Damage, and wow, we're just getting all this damage, guys. He's racking it up for us. I'm not even going to go for a Spear Goblin Hut because I feel like I can just bounce everything back and get more chip damage this way. Maybe the Spear Goblin Hut was worth. Yeah, I think the Spear Goblin Hut in that situation was a little bit better. It's fine though. Dark Prince is not going to get a hit because he drops an Ice Golem. Well played. I'm going to go for a Skill Horde right on top. Also drop Spear Goblins because he's going to go use his Zap. So now my Spear Goblins get Utility. And I'm going to go in for a Miner with a Counter Push. So you should try to defend first and then go for a Counter Push with this deck and sauce out the Miner after. Usually how it works. Because he has to keep dropping Hog Riders right into you. There's nothing else he's able to do because, you know, like, he has to respond to the Spear Goblins. Spear Goblins, if you just let him stack Spear Goblin Huts, you're going to lose the game. So it's a, a very, very easy matchup when you have the Spear Goblin Hut. It's even easier when you're playing Spear Goblin Hut with Pekka against Hog Rider. It is so hard for opponents to break through that. I'm going to go for a log for some little bit more chip damage. And he's starving on Elixir, man. He's depleted. He needs more minerals. And we're going to be going to drop more Spear Goblins. We're going to go in for a Miner. And that's going to be GG. That's going to be all she wrote. Good game, well played, and good luck, sir. Very difficult matchup for him. As you guys can see, it decimates Hog Rider. Very easy match. Tag join 100 Thieves for CRL and give me mercy, please. You mean merch instead of mercy? I don't know, man. That was the only uh, team that I didn't talk to. Out of every single team for CRL, that was the only team I did not talk to. So I don't know what they're doing or I don't know. I, I haven't really heard about them. No one actually really heard about them before. Like we knew the clan, but like 100 Thieves, they were, uh, I don't know. They're pretty like sleeper, man. They weren't doing it. They weren't doing too much. They weren't talking to any players that I knew. I said my name wrong. Dude, I say everyone's name wrong. You should get used to that real fast. I'm sorry, though. All right, so he's going to go in for a zap. So I'm going to go in for Goblin Gang because he's not going to have a mirrored zap. There's no way. So he's got log and zap. Okay, feels bad, man. We got to bounce back and win this. He's got log zap with Pekka, so he's probably going to have a force spell. So it's either going to be arrows. He's going to have three spells to counter us, which would be tragic. 
Hopefully not arrows. Pray. Please pray for Jake and hope that this man does not have arrows. Hopefully it's just going to be fireball or poison. I would hope it's fireball, not poison. Poison does too much value against Spear Goblin Hut, so I don't want that to happen. Dark Prince is so busted, man. All the Stevens are just going to stack up behind him and give me so much value. Okay, so he's going to go in for Ceiling Fan. I'm just going to go in for uh, the Minion Horde right on top. This is the moment of truth. What is this spell going to be? Because he's going to drop it right on the Minion Horde. You can't zap it, so there's the poison. Okay. He's also got Electro Wizard, too, so he's got multifarious answers. This guy's got a myriad of spells. It's total savagery, man. I'm going to go log everything back, make sure the Electro Wizard doesn't de uh, defile our Sacred Shrine. Spirit Goblin Hut is... Oh, man, it did die, but... It still got one more Steven. It birthed one more Steven. Another Goblin Hut. Let's go. So I'm going to go in for more Spear Goblins just to get a little bit more chip damage. The Cluster of Four. Never been seen before. Okay, so I'm going to go in for another Minion Horde as soon as possible. He's probably going to Poison that. No, he's actually going to Zap. I have to go in for a Poison on defense here, unfortunately. I'm going to go for a high goblin gang, so it's not going to be in the vicinity of a poison. It's also going to keep the flying machine there. And then he goes in for a log. Yo, we baited out a log. Let's go. Going to go in for a uh, dark prince. It's going to go charge on top of the royal ghost. And we're doing so well right here. I'm going to start going in for lower goblin huts. So he's not able to get some absurd poison value on us. Yep, notice how he's not able to hit the minion horde now. Because he wanted to hit the tower. He also just went in for a zap and we're going to go for a poison and probably just take tower. Electro Wizard got dropped. We knew that he was going to have to drop Electro. And we got a lot of damage there. Going to go in for a Dark Prince. Steven the Spear Bear. Oh, Steven. He knew what I wanted. He finished off the Electro Wizard. That was my Christmas present. Let's go. Another Goblin Hut in the back. You want to poison the Goblin Hut now so then I can go for a free Minion Horde and then you have to zap it? That'd be really nice. All the Stevens are clustering up, man. Goblin Gang surround. He keeps going in for the poisons, but we get more Spear Goblin Huts on the field. You can't deal with the Steven army, man. Don't even try. Just let it happen at this point, bro. Succumb to defeat. We're going to go drop another poison. We're going to go log everything back. And I think we got this game in the bag. All we got to do is sauce out some more minor poisons. And there's not too much you can do about it. Going to go in for another Dark Prince to redirect the Royal Ghost, hopefully. Going to go in for another Miner. And we're trying to keep up the aggression. Despite him, have, despite him having so many spells, there's just no way for him to actually deal with our direct damage of Miner Poison. We're going go in for a Log, and all we got to do is get one more spell, and we got the game in the bag. Going for another Goblin Gang, and actually, we didn't even need, uh, we didn't even need the rest. So good game, well played, and good luck, sir. Alright, so we're going to go for Spear Goblins at the River, and then Dark Prince off his lane. So he just wanted for Zap. Yo, Mortar is not something I wanted to see because he's going to have so many spells. Wouldn't surprise me if he has arrows. But he did use his Zap, so I want to apply a lot of pressure if I can. Wow, dropping a defensive miner. He really had to cycle back to his Zap, I guess. Lots of damage for me. And he's not going to have Elixir for a Mortar anytime soon, so I feel like just dropping a Spear Goblin Hut. Unfortunately, he might... No, he's not going to have Hog Rider because he has Miner, right? So I can afford to go drop Spear Goblin Huts lower. I'm going to go in for Spear Goblins with the other Steven. Okay, so he's going to go in for a Defensive Mortar. Well played. That's definitely the play. I could poison that, but I don't know if he's got Minion Warrior. I don't really want to do that since I have Log. Something that I can't do, justifiably. Going to go Dark Prince right on top. And we're still going to get Stevens out of there. Okay, so he's going to go in for Skill Horde. That means we're going to go in for Goblin Gang. I don't know if he's going to zap it or not. If he zaps it, then we go in for a minion horde with it. He's not going to, so we're going to go in for a minor. Come on, Steven. Get chip damage. Oh, he had to zap the one Steven. Yo, that feels so bad. When you have to zap a Steven that's literally at 1 HP, clinging to his life with his spear, and he got zapped. Oh, his life was not in vain, though. Oh, what? Are you serious? What is this garbage? 
I, I'm always mystified by some of the garbage that you see in GCs. This is not a good deck. Three Musketeers with Mortar. Oh, jeez, dude. I guess it's like off meta so you can catch people off guard and take Ws, but... No, man. Get this out of my face. You run Pump with Three Musketeers, not this. He also doesn't have Log. We know that he has Three Musketeers, so he's not going to have like 10 spells. We're just going to be able to get a Goblin Hut. And we're ended up taking his tower and he's not able to do anything about it. Yo, he's just laughing, but you know he's crying in the inside right now. He's not happy. It's really triggered. I'm going to go for a poison and then I'm actually going to log it back to make sure the Dark Prince doesn't take any damage. So I'm going to go drop my Goblin Gang right on top of the Ice Spirit. And then I'm going to go in for Spear Goblins here. He's probably going to go Zap. Yeah, so he doesn't Zap the Minion Horde, so that's really good for me. I really appreciate that zap donation right on top of my tower. That's going to be GG. Well played and good luck. Dominance asserted, guys. We are now at 11-2. Let's see if we can make it happen. Believe in me, guys. We're going to try to get that three crown luck. It's not going to happen, unfortunately, but you know. Yo, Nick, thank you for the host, man. I hope you had a fantastic stream. So bouncing into the game, we are playing against a literal demon. So you're not a true demon unless you actually have arrows. So he's probably going to have arrows. But we're going to be dropping our Goblin Gang right at the river, and he's going to go in with a Bandit. So hopefully this is not Bridge Spam with 10 spells. It might be, though. We're going with the Dark Prince, and okay, so we should have dropped it even further back. I thought I was going to walk. I mistimed it, though. It's definitely Bridge Spam. We don't know what type, though. Might actually be Three Musketeers. We still haven't seen his other cards. I, I doubt it, though. Yeah, it's going to be Bridge Spam. So Spear Goblins are going to give me a lot of value. He's actually going to Fireball. Okay, that's really good for me. Seeing Fireball is something that I wanted to see. I'm going to try to keep my Spear Goblin Hut alive. So I'm going to go in with a Minion Ward. Going to give me more value then. And then he still has to Zap and then drop Ice Golem. Okay. We need one Spear Goblin so then I can get away with the Goblin Gang here. It's going to walk towards the Goblin Gang. This Spear Goblin Hut is going to survive the full duration. As many Stevens as we possibly could pump out. Dude, I literally read his clan as Pretzel Gaming instead of Pegasus Game. <laughs> oh, am I a bad person? I literally meme everyone's clan just by, like, being illiterate, man. Oh, the Dark Prince gives me a present for my troubles. That's awesome. <laughs> the band is just like, nah, I'm thick. I don't actually run. I walk. Feels good, man. We're doing so well. Stevens are just kicking it, man. There's nothing they can do to break through the Stevens. Alright, so we're just going to go drop Minion Horde right on top, depending on what he wants to do. Actually, I don't want to drop Minion Horde. I want to go drop Goblin Gang. I want to play really passively, since this is our 12th win. There's no point in overcommitting. I'm going to go drop Minion Horde now to kill the Dark Prince. He's going to fireball everything. So That was a really good fireball by him, not going to lie. He just uses Zap so I can get away with Goblin Gang. Not going to go in for a Miner right into a Dark Prince. That is just bad news, Bears. Not having that happen to us. I'm actually just going to log everything back so that my Dark Prince gets a charge off and his doesn't. I'm going to go in for a poison because I'm going to encapsulate the Inferno Dragon and his bandit. Well worth. Should have went for a lower Goblin Hut, but it's fine. He's going to zap that. Oh, he's trying to go crazy. He's going really hard in the paint on me. Ooh, this is not good. I might have overcommitted. Oh, I definitely overcommitted. I have to log that back, dude. I lose. No. Oh, man. We got bridge spammed. What did I do wrong? I'm trying to think. Did I drop a Goblin Hut before I was at 10 Elixir? That's probably what happened. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Let's get some Sir Tag Fs in the chat. I can't believe that happened. Oh. Let's go to another GC, though. Pure skill. Bridge spam. I know, dude. OJ says... Bridge spam cheesed. Yeah, man. I want to see what happened there. That was crazy. The graveyard Ewis deck, it's really good against bridge spam. It's an, like an auto win against bridge spam. 
it's weak against three musketeers if you don't play it like perfectly if you have a bad starting hand it's uh, weak against three musketeers really weak against giant three musketeers in particular so we're gonna mute this guy immediately because he's just laughing his, uh, <laughs> he's having his good time laughing man he's not gonna drop anything of his spear goblins I guess he had a bad hand he might be running golem so he goes and sauces out a mega minion Obviously, you don't want to go Dark Prince right into that, so I'm going to go opposite lane. Yep, it's definitely a Golem deck. So as soon as he ate the Spear Goblins and then didn't drop anything and drop Baby Dragon, there's nothing else they could really be running. Wait, he's got Ice Spirit. What are those, man? Ice Spirit in a Golem deck? Crazy. Yo, his baby dragon's out of cycle. He dropped his night witch. We're gonna go in for a minor. He's not gonna have enough elixir. He's gonna have to poison the skill horde. Or he's just... Oh my gosh. There's no way that that was a good play. There's absolutely no way. You cannot stand by that play. We're gonna go in for spear goblins. They should finish off. Nah, okay. I don't, I don't understand. He did end up defending the collector and his tower. So maybe it was decent, but it uh, seemed really sketchy. I'm just going to take his tower here. There's no way you defend that. And then the, your pump ends up dying to the Stevens. The Stevens are going to run rampant on your pump. Deny an elixir. They are thieves, man. So I think I got all my elixir back by killing the pump. So it's pretty much a free goblin gang. So here's the issue. I have to deal with the uh, baby dragon. Dropping everything, like separating it, made it a really difficult tornado target for him. So that worked out beautifully. I'm going to have to go in for another set of Steve the Spear Goblins. And then we're going in for more Stevens. Oh my gosh, guys. We have a Steven Horde here. He's going to have to go NATO it back. He's not going to zap it. One Steve left behind. Will No, he doesn't get a hit, guys. I really wanted that Steve to get a hit. I have to go for a higher Goblin Hut because he might have went opposite lane, but he didn't. I don't know why he didn't go opposite lane there. Because if he's pushing into that lane, right? I don't know. He, he has more tower damage there. And then all units that I defend are going towards the king tower. Like, I don't know. It just makes way more sense pushing into that lane. I guess he didn't want me to be able to rush opposite lane on him. But that's like a way worse play, I think. In this type of situation, you have to go in the tower that you have uh, the most damage on. You don't really have a choice as the golden player. I'm going to go minor on defense and then go skill horde right on top of the uh, the baby dragon. So, good game, well played, and good luck, sir. We defeated Overlord. BM him or riot. <laughs> I guess we're having a riot, man. I always thought Sir Tag was Canadian. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment, man. Canadians are always cordial. They're the nicest people. Objectively, right? Have you guys ever heard of a mean Canadian? It's just not, it's not a thing, man.